wearing. <laughs> I don't expect you to see anything wrong with it, dear. <laughs> Look, my dear. There is a way that seemeth right unto man, but leadeth forth unto destruction. You are heading to hell, and you're leading a horde of men along with you, lustful men. All of you are headed for destruction. You look like harlots. Excuse you. What don't you respect, man? Why would you call us that? You find us unrighteous because we do not wear oversized clothes and turban like you do? I told your Bible asks you not to judge people. Well, I have said what I have said. Take it or leave it. For your advice, you take it. Heaven is the goal, my dear. Heaven is the goal. Have a nice day. Can you imagine the not leave me alone? What rubbish. Your stupid landlady. I I feel the presence. I mean, maybe someone passed. Okay. Oh, please, me. I'm tired. I need to sleep. Okay. I am tired. Oh. Good night, too. Yeah. Good night. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't go on a date now. I have um, I have deadlines of scripts to submit. Yes. Um. Sorry. I'll call you back. I'll call you back. What's that?
Vincent. Mom. Why are you seated here? Mom, I just um, came out to get fresh air and I'm reading. Fresh air? Well, there's air all over the house. ACs are everywhere. <sighs> Mom, I just came out to get natural air. Look, I'm not comfortable with your sitting here. <sighs> Why? There are girls in this compound, half naked. Running around in shorts, exposing their thighs and clothes that open their private parts to the public. Mom, I'm a medical doctor, a full-time medical doctor, remember? I see these things all the time. Mom, I don't think you should be bothering yourself with all these trivials. Trivial? You call this trivial? What a man feeds his eyes on is eventually what his spirit feeds on. It's not trivial. Good morning, Mom. Morning. You see, see, I told you, I'm not, I'm not comfortable with this. Please, 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 Mom, come. I'm not fit Come in. inside, please, 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 please. Let me help you carry your Mom. Mm -hmm. Mom. Please, don't be Mom, angry. I don't like this thing. Don't be angry, I'll help you. Mom, if I go out, it's really Please, close. let's go in, darling. Please. Your soul is important to me. Heaven is the goal. There are some things that you see and uh, you, 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 your, your mind at night you realize you're dreaming about, uh, about, about sinful activities. Another note and a chocolate. <laughs> this is getting serious. So. Why do I feel like this person is obsessed with you? Hmm. I kind of like it though. It brings me those secondary school nostalgia where you communicate your feelings using letters. Hmm. I get it. But you don't know who sends those letters. You don't know who puts them by the window. Do you? Um, I think it's the landlady's son. Why do you think so? Because I started getting the letters after he stared at me that day. Mm. But you're only guessing. I mean, what if it's the other tenant or someone? That boy, <laughs> that boy is barely around. And he doesn't look at me in that manner. No, not him. Mm. So, the landlady's son likes you. <laughs> Interesting. Do you like him? I don't know. But he's really cute though. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You like him. Mm. 
Like I said, I do not know. Besides, I have not forgotten who his mother is. I am not in for such a drama. No. no. I wonder what she'll do if she realizes that her son sends love notes to her senior tenants. You can imagine the drama. <laughs> Mama will pass off. Just... <laughs> uh, Anyways, cool. where's the chocolate? <laughs> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, I'm almost there. Trust me. No, no, no. I do not mean to waste your time. Right. <laughs> that would be good to know. Yes? Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, wow, you look very beautiful. Thank you. Um, I'm Vincent. Hi. The one who has been sending me those notes. One note? Oh. Sorry. Got you. How did you find out, though? Vincent, why are you sending me notes? I like you a lot. Your mother? I mean, your mother will not find it funny if she comes out and see us talking. Oh, come on. I'm not a teenager, you know, right? You said, why are you scared of my mom? She doesn't bite. Scared? No. I just do not want to have issues with my landlords. Oh. Oh, right. My ride is outside. Oh, all right. Um, can I at least have your contact to so we'll talk? Pointless. Sent for me. Yes. I like us to talk. Oh, okay. This is uh, not with the intention of pressuring you, not at all. Uh, but I want to ask, what are your plans for settling down? I'll settle down when I find someone. Oh, is finding someone the challenge? <laughs> That's no problem. There are lots of beautiful girls in church who are good wife material. Just choose one of them. <laughs> but they don't make my heart skip, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> How will they make your heart skip when you don't even get to know them first? Hmm? For instance, the beautiful girl that sat beside you in church the other day. She looked so innocent. Mom, so because she looks innocent, you've concluded she's a wife material? Oh, no. I know Peace and her family very well. They are decent and God-fearing people. Look, Mom, like I said, 
I would settle down when I find someone. Okay, that's fine. As far as you bring me a decent and God-fearing girl, that's all I ask. Sure. <laughs> so you want a daughter-in-law now? <laughs> Having grandchildren now will not be a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna get something upstairs. Okay. Are you still expecting his notes? You want him away. Oh, you really like this guy. I mean, you should have just given him your number when he asked you. I... I didn't want to get into trouble with his mother. Mm -hmm. I never knew I would miss getting his notes. Wait. Are you falling in love with this guy already? In such a short time? I don't know. I don't know. What I know is the thought of him tickles my stomach. <laughs> Wait. See why I don't fall in love with mommy Gio Piki? Cindy, stop. <laughs> stop, it's not funny. But it is. I mean, you're in love with the son of the woman that you dislike so much. We dislike. Of course. Oh, I don't like her too. I... I can't help it. I just hope he feels the same way about me. I'm not just using you to catch crews, because that's the one that will pin me. Kunle. Pick it up now. You even need the distraction. Hello? What? What happened? He's at the gate. Huh? He didn't even tell me he was coming. Oh, it's okay. <sighs> <laughs> I really miss you driving me around, you know. But mom, I'm a doctor. I'm not your driver. Oh. <laughs> you will always be my driver. <laughs> hey. You didn't tell me you were coming. You weren't taking my calls. And you had to come? What if I was not in the house? Well, I came at the right time then because you are. Can we at least go inside? Kunle, this is not funny. Look, don't be so pissed at me, okay? Um, I was just excited. I wanted to spend my birthday with you. It's your birthday? Yeah. Okay. But that does not mean you should come to my place unannounced. I really do not like surprises. All right. It won't happen again. What decent girl brings men to her house? No self-respect. Mom, let's um, let's mind our business, please. Let's go. I'm coming. Honey. Okay. 
Okay, girl. So this is my friend Kunle, Kunle, Cindy. Oh. Hi, Kunle. Nice to meet you. Hi, same here. And compliments of the season as well. Thank you. Cindy, it's Kunle's birthday today. Really? Yeah. Happy yeah. birthday. Thank okay. you so much. Um, you guys, have a good time. Okay, I'll be inside. If you need me, holla. Okay, come on, sit. Thank you. Make yourself comfortable. Yep. Thank you so, so much. So, better boy, what do I offer you? Um, I actually want us to go out, you know. Spend this beautiful day somewhere special. Just you and me. Oh. Yeah. Ah, uh, Kunle, you see, I... I really have a lot on my desk right now. Come on, honey, it's my special day and I want to spend it with you. Kunle. Look, let's get this straight so we don't miscontrol what this is. You're a cool guy, a awesome dude. But you see, you and I, it's not possible. I'm sorry. Come on, but I want more than friendship, Tiwa. I have strong feelings for you. Good to know. But the feeling is not much love. <sighs> Come off it, Gunley. What can I offer you? Drink, water, say something else. Water will be fine. Thank you. Water. Okay.
Johnson. Hmm? Are you not supposed to be downstairs for morning devotion? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I was having run to Mark, so I need to go in there and relieve myself. Okay. Mm. Um, check my drawer for flat gel. Yeah. Yes. Okay. The joy of the Lord is your strength. <laughs> I can see your fire for Jesus this morning. <laughs> Mom. It's good that you're out here. Huh? I, I need to get to church. Huh? I need you to take me there. I want to see Reverend Osaze. Oh, that's true. He even wants to see you as well. Then after church, you take me to the market. I have to buy some supplies. Oh, oh shoot. My Bible. I forgot it. I'm coming. Let me get it from upstairs. Mom. The joy of the Lord is my strength. Justin! Justin! Yeah! Justin! Ah. Open the gate for me. The joy of the... Ah! Where is... Where is he? Vincent! I, do you want to park outside? Where is it? Vincent, wait! Wait! Wait, I've only gone to church three times this week. I feel empty. Hey. Hi. Hi. You're welcome. Thank you. Um, please, let me get this. Thank you. You're welcome. So tell me, is it a thing for ladies not to get to dates before the guys? Rather, it's a thing for both drivers to always stop by to get well. Hence, making me come late. I'm sorry. <laughs> My bad. My bad. Um. See so, what? Uh, you're very beautiful, like very beautiful, but there's something about your smile. It just takes your beauty from one to a hundred and one. You're a damn sir. I couldn't take my eyes off you when you were leaving the compound. You're lucky your mother didn't catch you staring. <laughs> okay. So why did you agree to come with you to me? Let's say a free break from work isn't bad, is it? <laughs> free break from work, eh? Yeah? Is that it or you have a thing for me? Oops. Easy, young man. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, enough about me. Tell me about you. What do you do? I write films. Oh, really? Yes, I do. That's, that's, that's interesting. Thanks. Oh, here comes the food. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, wow. This looks good. It makes sense. Um, anyways, 
Sorry to say, my mom and siblings think you're jobless. Understandable. Your mom finds anything I and my friend does as bad. She judges us a lot. Typical of my mother. <laughs> you can say that again, you know. I barely come home because of her over-religiousness. But I think it's time she put a stop to it. I know, right? You know, thanks. Your mom once called my friend and I her lot because of how we dressed. You're kidding, right? No. But that's, that's not fair. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. We, we've chosen to overlook all the eyes she gives us in the compound. <laughs> you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Staying in your compound feels like hell. Like a survivor's guard. <laughs> <laughs> is it that bad? It's really bad. No, it's not that bad. It is because bad. Because of my mother. <laughs> okay, you know, for my mother, in love of me, my siblings, um, tell me about you, um, about your life. Oh, sorry, hold on. The young man that dropped you at the house, is that your boyfriend? Nope. A friend. Oh. Kunle. Oh, a friend. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is. this and this is for you thanks cheers I didn't want it when it was super amazing. Mm. Vincent is completely different from his family. His ideology of life, Christianity, everything is different. Are you serious? He's so sweet, I must say. Oh. <laughs> I'm very sure that that boy is the rebel of his family. I'm sure his mom knows that already. Nope. I doubt he doesn't do things to get on her nerves. Mm -hmm. And according to him, the mother has been like that since they were kids. Like, she literally stopped them from associating with other children. Toxic. I mean... I think that's the mistake that most parents make. Being so overprotective and then somehow the children just get worse when they finally let loose. Do you know what he said again? There's a time... Onye came back from school, I mean university, with okay. trousers. Guess what the woman did? What? She set all her clothes ablaze. Like, who does that? A university girl. <laughs> Wait, are you joking? I'm not joking. That woman is a character. <laughs> she is. I Your mother-in-law you. is a character. Stop. <laughs> no, Stop. I won't. <laughs> Stop. I will not, because, I mean, you and her son are into each other. Or won't you marry me if he asks you to? <laughs> Why do you have that look? Like, ain't as much as I, I would love to, but mm -hmm. I can't even imagine. The mother will never let us happen. She won't. <sighs> Anyways, in that case, just I think you should end things before. It goes too far before you fall too hard. Because I knew you. 
complacent. It's not easy to stop falling complacent. Oh, my friend is alone. <laughs> So this is serious. Uh, and I didn't put some uh, in my uh, uh, Oh my god, it's past, it's past midnight. Get uh, oh my god, sorry. <laughs> It's it's Cindy, Tiwa's friend. Yeah, sorry for calling you this late, but we need you. What's wrong? Her ulcer got triggered and it's really bad. It's really serious. <laughs> Tiwa has ulcer. <laughs> yeah. And she always has Justin, but she has taken the last one. I don't know what to do. My tummy, my tummy, my tummy. Um, um, okay, okay, um. You know what, just, just hold on, I'm coming. Just hold on, I'm coming, please. Hug my tummy. Okay, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, Vincent is coming, okay? You'll be fine, please. Okay, just, just try and take the oh, oh, I don't want my life. I don't want anything. I don't want anything. Oh, my God. Cindy, please just give me 10 mil of this. Sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry, sorry, you'll be sorry. fine. Be fine. <laughs> what did she eat? Pepe. Pepe is sending me pepe. Oh, too well. I didn't even put too much pepper in the food, I promise. <sighs> she always has sorry. Justin. Sorry, sorry, it's okay. It's okay, okay? Sorry, sorry. Cindy, please, please. You should mind where you get to her, especially Pepe. Okay? This thing could trigger an ulcer anytime. My mom has ulcer, so I know what it feels like. Sorry. What are you doing here? 
Where did you go to? I um I I went to get my other phone from the car. Your phone? Yeah. Was in the car. And you did not know until this night. Uh yes, I mean, uh Mom, I was just carried away. I just had to go get it. <laughs> Mom, what will I be doing outside possibly by the time of the night? Well, I'm fine. Good night. <laughs> You lied to mom. Your phone has been in the house all this while. I have two phones, remember? <laughs> Vincent, what do you have with the neighbor? One neighbor. Tiwa, I notice the way you two stare at each other sometimes. Your mind was playing games with you, Johnson. Good night. Hey, what's she writing this time? <laughs> hey. 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 How, How do you? you feel? Very well. Thank you so much for last night. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, so I stepped out to get you this Osa kit. Did you? Yeah. Let me see. Thank you so very much. You're welcome. Are you home alone? Um, yeah. Yeah, I am. Mom is out. Uh, my sister, she went for a normal tutorial stuff. And you know Pastor Johnson, he has gone to church. So I'm alone. Do you mind coming in to see one of my movies? Um, yeah, yeah, I would love to. I'll go get it done then. Okay. I know I have fallen for you too, Vincent. You're not sure of your feelings for me, right? No! Come on, Vincent. I'm crazy about you. I... 
I have never done this before. Wait. Are you a virgin? Mm hmm And I'm keeping it till I'm married. Okay. Let's wait till the time is right. Please. Let's keep your virginity till it's right, okay? <laughs> Don't make it sound awkward. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Tiwa. I love you so, so much. I love you too. Come here. Where could this boy have gone to and left the door unlocked? Vincent! Vincent! Oh, Mom. You're back. I didn't see you outside. Um, yeah, I, I just went to the backyard to check the clothes. Clothes? Mm -hmm. What clothes? When you need to wash some clothes earlier and spread them, so I had to go check them at the backyard. Besides, the weather is changing. Oh. Oh well, I came home to prepare for church. You know today's Bible study. Oh, I forgot. You have a tendency to forget these things, Vincent. I'm sorry. Anyway, you still have an hour to prepare. Uh, okay. I'll be with you shortly. Oof. That was close. What's the meaning of this? How many times do I need to tell you not to come to my house without giving me a notice? Yeah, but um, I dropped a client off around this axis and decided to drop by and see your pretty face. That's not an excuse. You should tell me before coming to my house. That's proper. You tell me you're busy as usual and I badly want to see you. I've, I've been thinking about you a lot. We haven't even talked for a long time now. Stop. Stop, stop it. Gunle, I have told you that I am not interested in whatever you want to happen between us. I am not interested. Look, I know, I know you don't have to accept my advances immediately. Oh, what is wrong 
with you? Why would you do that, Kule? What is wrong? Have you gone mad? I'm sorry. You're sorry? I, I Leave. Leave my house. I said I'm sorry. Go, please. Don't come looking for me again. Go. Take two of it and the pasta more. Mm, and okay. do the same thing in the evening, okay? Okay, thank you. But are you okay? You look upset. Um, I'm fine. Just take your medication so you'll feel better. Okay. I would have said you should run some tests, but... Mm -mm. No, don't blame me for that. It's just malaria. Are you sure? Um, are you sure you're okay yourself? I'm fine. Okay. Thank you. Take your meds, okay? Mm. Sorry. He's not picking my calls. He's not even responding to my messages. He must be really upset. I know. I know that he's hot, but I did not kiss Kunle back. I did of course, not. Of course I know. I mean, but of course he doesn't know because he didn't see you slap him. You know what? I'd advise you just let him be for today. I can't. I can't. I need to explain myself. I need to express myself to him. I don't want him to have things on his head. I need to talk to him, Cindy. But now he's not picking your call, so what are we supposed to do? <sighs> Try again. He switched off his phone. He has switched off his phone. Oh, he has switched off his phone. Come, girl. <laughs> so stop disturbing yourself like this. Okay? You've... You've tried. I think you should just let him be for today. We'll go oh, again tomorrow. Oh, I can't. Let I can't. Again tomorrow. What are we supposed to do now? Please. What are you doing here? Vincent, please, you need to hear me out. Please, please, you need to leave. We can't talk here. I made sure I saw everyone go out before I came. Vincent, please, we need to talk. What do you want to talk about? No, tell me, what do you want to discuss, huh? I saw you kissing someone you said you had nothing to do with. I didn't kiss him. He stole the kiss. Fisen, please, you need to believe me. He kissed me on a word, and I even slapped him. <laughs> I didn't see that. But I have no reason to lie to you. You can ask your brother, he saw it. Vicent, I cannot do anything to hurt you on purpose. I love you so very much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I was just I was just heartbroken at the side. I couldn't bring myself to listen to what you had to say. I understand. And I have warned him to stay away from me, I promise. <laughs> so is that why you had to come to the lion's den? I saw the lion go out. <laughs> <laughs> I miss you. Missed you too. <laughs> Gods. 
FNAF! To step into my house! And you, my son! Into sin? You prostitute! Man, shut up! How long? How long has this been going on? How long have you been serving your filthy self to my son on a platter? How long? No. Nothing. Nothing has happened. You have no shame. Enough, mom. Enough. Mom, you don't get to speak to her that way. Look, mom, I know what you saw is it's kind of disrespectful. Well, let me explain. It's not what you think, Mom. <laughs> hmm. I can see. You are a man now, right? You can talk back at me now. I knew it. I knew something was amiss the day you lied to me. So this is it. You're sleeping with the neighbor. No, mom, that's not true. Mom, do you even care to, what, to listen to what I have to say? I do not ever want to see you with the slot again. I love her! have gone there. I mean, I know that you were badly trying to solve it, but going to your house was a wrong move. How was I supposed to know? How was I supposed to know she would come back after she had left? It's okay. Right, please. Stop crying. She accused me of throwing myself at him. Oh, Tua. <laughs> you should be used to this woman's words by now. Don't let her hurt you like this. It's okay. <laughs> um, it's Vincent calling. You wanna talk? I'm not it's okay, Tua. Look, just, just calm down. This is going to happen somehow. I mean, both of you cannot, cannot sneak around forever. Right? You know the good thing? The fact that he defended you in the presence of his mom. It's okay. It's okay. Good day, Ma. It is a bad one. Here, this is the rent you paid. And this is your quit notice. Quit notice? What for? You have a week to vacate my premises. Ma, one week? How are we supposed to find a place within such short notice? That is absolutely no business of mine. If you do not vacate my premises within a week, you will be thrown out. Mama, what is this even? Can you imagine this woman? Quick notice. She even returned our money.
Cindy, I'm so sorry. It's all my fault. You don't have to. Look, it's okay. We need to talk. We have nothing to talk about. Mom, you have to hear me out, please. It is enough insult that you brought that slut into my house. Mom, Tiwa is not a slut. Don't call her names. Mom, you always want everybody to hear you, but you never listen to us. You never listen to anybody. You always want to mold everybody to that perfect being. Forgetting we are all humans. Our mistakes are inevitable. Oh. Is that your justification for the nonsense you did here yesterday? No, it's not, Mom. It's not. I'm only saying I've had it up to here. Ever since we were kids, you always locked us up. You refused us from mingling with our mates. Even our cousins. You call them worldly people. Because that is what they are. Oh, and you and your kids are saints. Mom, I had sex when I was in SS2. Yes. You locking us up had no good on us. It had no good on me, Mom. Mom, I love Tiwa. And you, or no one else, will take my happiness from me. See your brother. See your brother. He's out of his mind. He's out of his mind. Look, I'm in no mood for any preaching right now. I'm not here to preach. I just want to talk to you. You're crying. What's 
what's wrong? I'm, I'm pregnant. How? But you don't even have a boyfriend. I, I've been seeing someone for a year now. I mean, he doesn't fit into mom's description of an ideal man. I couldn't tell her. I knew she would never approve of it. Hey! Whenever I go to take the kids' home lessons, I, I, I get to meet him at his house. Wow! Now I'm pregnant for him. I was going to abort it, but I'm just so scared. No, 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 I couldn't. I, I just couldn't. He begged me to keep the child. That's why I'm here. Please, I need your help. I, I need to tell mom. I don't even know what to do. I'm so scared. Oh, you should have been more careful. Eh? Mom will be so disappointed when she hears this. Come here, come, come. I know you're mad at me. I'm sorry. No, I'm not mad at you. Boy, you've refused to speak to me. I've been calling you. I sent you text messages. You're not answering any of them. <sighs> What's the point? Your mother does not want us to be together. Siwa, just this small sign of war and you're already giving up on us. Vincent, who are we fighting? Your mom. It just, it just doesn't make sense. No, Siwa. Siwa, look, look. Just stand by me. I promise you everything will be fine. Just, I need you right now, Siwa. Please. Please. <sighs> I love you so much, Vincent. And I don't know what my life will be if I lose you. No, 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 Tim. No, look, Tim, you're not losing me. You're not losing me, okay? I will talk to my mom. Everything will be okay, I promise you. I promise you. But you're not losing me to anything. Please. Okay. No problem. I just feel bad for Cindy. I mean, she's not supposed to be suffering the consequences of our action. And what about Cindy? Your mom gave us a quick notice. What? Look, 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 please do not do not confront her about it. I don't want you to tell her anything about it, please. No, but Tiwa, that's not that's not fair. That's not right. Why? Vincent, it's okay. I mean, we're already house hunting. I'm sure we'll get a place soon. Do not talk to your mother about it. Listen, no, Tiwa, listen. I have to talk to my mom about this. This is not fair now. This is not Vincent, right. Vincent, you cannot ask your mother, please, I beg you. It's fine. I'll be fine.
punyinya Oh iya Mah Sorry You're crying Are you having a headache? Is it malaria? No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine Is it my eyes or Are you adding weight? You're adding weight. No. There's something I need to tell you. What is it? Huh? I... No. I'm, I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm, so, I'm sorry. Where have I gone wrong in parenting? Where did I miss it? I brought up these children with a strong hand, yet I failed. I failed you, Amos. My greatest fears have now befallen me. Onyeye is pregnant. Pregnant out of wedlock for a man I don't even know. Vincent is in love with a girl who doesn't dress decently. Only God knows what Johnson is also hiding. <laughs> Was I too harsh on them? Did I restrict them too much? How can I make this right? He said he found another place. But the thing is, that place is really far from my office. We're going to have to spend an arm and a leg to get to work. Plus the traffic on that route. Can't even do. Um, Cindy. You don't have to. You don't have to pay for that place. I mean, if it's far from your work and it's not convenient for you, you don't have to take it. Oh, it's you are. You seem to have forgotten that we actually do not have time. Just, just a few more days, and this woman is going to throw us out of her, her house. I can't believe when you're pregnant. I mean, I could have sworn that she has never known any man. Well, I guess you're the only one without sin. I'm not perfect to you, you know. I'm not. I, I jerk off sometimes in the bathroom. Yes, that's how I cope. 
I'm human, you know, I'm human. But I try. I try so hard to be perfect for more. <sighs> hmm. So no one is without sin after all. Mom needs to stop trying to mold people into being perfect. She needs to stop judging people. I've come to think of it. Tiwa. I seen Tiwa that wears revealing clothes and, and trousers and, and she wears makeup. She's a virgin. And then we hear that covers her body from head to toe. It's pregnant. <sighs> what an irony of life. You see, mom has her own definition of perfection. The sooner she realizes, the better. Good evening, ma. What is it? Please, ma. The one week notice that you gave to us will lapse tomorrow. And we still have not found a place to stay. Please. I want to beg you if you can give us more time. Why should I? Because... Because if you don't, we'll pay for a place out of desperation and we'll regret it later. Please, Ma. Please, don't let us make that mistake, please. You can return the rent I refunded. What? You can't stay. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ma Cindy. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you. to forgive us. You broke my heart. But mom, what exactly did I do? I only fell in love. With a worldly girl. Mom, who is a virgin? <sighs> that, that can't be true. Probably just lying to you. That girl can't be a virgin, not with all the men she brings into her house. No oh, men? How many men have you seen here? The only man you've seen here is a friend. Okay. Look, mom. 
Do you know I tried to have intercourse with her and she refused? Yes. She said she's not having it until marriage. That girl is disciplined, mom. Mom. Mom, I love Tiwa. And I want to make her my wife. But please, don't come between us. this girl that well. Oh, Mom, how then can I know her if you don't even give us the chance to know each other? Okay. Just do what makes you happy. Sex before marriage. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mom. Ciao. Ciao, Mom. <laughs> and also, thank you for letting us stay ahead. That's okay. But advise her to get a job, and I don't mind is the devil's workshop. <laughs> Mom, she has a job. She's a writer, she writes films. Wow. Yes. A writer? Mm hmm But she's always at home. Ah, oh, Mom, it's the 21st century. She works from home. How many is even premiere on some top TV stations, internet, even on YouTube? <laughs> I'm really happy to hear that. That means she's very intelligent. Oh, she is. She's very intelligent, Mom. Ah. That's good. <laughs> um, 